Welcome to another edition of International Soccer Break. I'm your host, Sahel. I'm here with Ishana, and we just finished an epic, absolutely epic CONCACAF W Gold Cup semifinal USA versus Canada. We're going to get into it, and all I can say, Ishana, is that was epic in every sense of the word. Oh, my God. It spiked my blood pressure. I was watching at this bar with my friend, with this bartender who, by the way, looked exactly like Luka Modric. I should point that out. And um, my God, I, I mean, we had the U.S., we had Canada, and then we had a whole ass third player known as the Rain. Like, it completely transformed everything. I know everyone's going to be talking about this all the time, but... You know, I was like, were we watching at the Snapdragon Stadium in San Diego or were we watching at SeaWorld? I mean, there was <laughs> like there was yeah. literally a moment where Sophia Smith fell down and she got up and her shorts looked like when you throw your laundry in the in the wash machine and you forget to or something happens with the spin cycle and doesn't spin properly. Yeah. Like it was like it was insane. People were wringing out their shirts on the field. I mean, it was, yeah, it was very CONCACAF, very reminiscent of just, I mean, American soccer. We had that MLS game in the snow recently. I don't know. I don't know what this is about. <laughs> yeah, let's start there. So obviously, you know, we don't live very far away from where the game was being taken place. And, you know, you look outside the whole day and you're, you're looking around and being like, okay, it's raining quite a bit. Are they still going to play this game? And then apparently there was some controversy where the ref went out on the pitch, kind of was pointing out to officials and saying that it didn't look like maybe it was playable. But someone in there made the decision to say, hey, we want to put you guys out there in the ocean and just, you know, we're going to play this game. I... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's it's obviously, it's not safe. I mean, I don't think there's been, like, so many ACL injuries recently in recent years with the women. I don't think this is adding anything. I mean, I'm, a lot of players took beatings today, but, I mean, hats off. Everyone really tried their hardest. Obviously, Canada you know, they were kind of under that threshold in the very beginning where you have to learn what's going to happen with this new player, this element of rain. Yeah. And you don't know quite how the ball is going to manage it. And obviously we know what happened. It well, got let's talk up. about that. For those that didn't watch the game, <laughs> it was a back pass by a Canadian player, which led to the first goal. Uh, Jaden Shaw scored. But in, if you want to really give credit to who scored that goal, it was really the rain that scored that goal. Yes, I mean, credit to Jaden Shaw for being positioned uh, where she was. And I will point out, Jaden Shaw, in my opinion, is an excellent finisher. In fact, I thought she got set off too early. Yeah. And, um, but yeah, I mean, that was, that was tough luck. Um, but, yeah. you know, that is, it, it, I don't even know what to say about it, honestly. <laughs> it, <laughs> it was... <laughs> yeah, I feel bad for the the, the Canadian defender. Um, but then moving forward, okay, there was an incident in the 48th minute. I personally thought, you know, Davidson got away with uh, what, I, what I thought was a penalty, um, you know, stepping on, uh, on the Canadian forward's foot. And I thought, you know what, I, I'm surprised VR didn't look at that, but we got away with one there. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little... I honestly think that was probably more of a PK than Nayers, in my opinion. That looked a little, I don't know. I always feel I always feel like you give the goalie a little bit more leeway with penalties, with calling penalties than you do with a defender. But um, yeah, I mean, maybe we got lucky there. Yeah, and then to Canada's credit, they come back and, and tie the match up in the 82nd minute. And then we have to go to extra time. We think we've won it off Sophia Smith's goal. And then, of course, there's the incident at the end of the game, uh, pretty much the last play of the game. So 
where do we want to even start with all the incidents that happened? I think maybe we'll just focus on a couple of the major points and let, let, let's let's start at the end of the of the game. I thought on that particular play, you know, Sophia Smith, who basically had a very interesting game from start to finish. What was sort of the saga of Sophia Smith during this game? Because this could be an, there could have been an entire story within a story of just on Sophia Smith. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. I've I I know I'm echoing what everybody else thinks that she's she's been quite disappointing, I think, for a lot of people in terms of but watching her today actually was the first time where I was watching her where I was like, you know what, she is just truly a rookie on the squad. And she plays like a rookie and she just needs to be developed. Obviously, she had a great goal. And I remember when she was I was just like, girl, just just make it. Like, you know, I'm really happy for her that she scored. And, you know, I, redemption with her PKs after the World Cup when, um, you know, we got out uh, during uh, to Sweden during those PKs. Sophia Smith missed her PK. I was happy to see her make her PK. But, you know, she just, to me, every time she gets subbed in, she just she doesn't feel additive to me on the pitch. I mean, I feel like even before, you know, we were there to waste time, she was doing that thing where she would always take it in the corner and then she didn't know what to do with it. And then she would play it, try to, you know, play for a corner. And that was her thing over and over again. And then when she should have actually been doing that, like yeah. in the last play of the game, instead yeah. she went straight through and kicked it into the defender. Um, and, you know, it's it's those type of things that I think are just – I do think she looks – versus, like, someone like Corbett Albert who did miss her PK. And, yeah. again, to be honest, I was expecting that. That is something that happens a lot to, to younger players, to rookies. But on the pitch, she doesn't feel like that to me. She feels like she's been playing with the squad for ages. And she plays with a lot of confidence. And even, I would say, Trinity Rodman, who is inconsistent – I also feel like she plays with this confidence where even today, I like this new aggressive Trinity Rodman. I want her to stay. I yeah. She's become so much more aggressive through the span of this tournament even. And it's it's a nice dichotomy for when we see her like goofing off on TikToks, like off the field. Yeah. Like, I really think she's finding her stride. And to me, that's kind of with Sophia Smith, I sort of feel a tentativeness. Um, yeah. Yeah. And to me, she just, you know, she loses the ball a little bit too much. And you can't lose it into that moment. That was reminding me very much of, for those that are fans of the U.S. men's national team, Michael Bradley uh, in the game against oh. Portugal. Uh, oh. You know, in, in uh, that was, that was uh, last minute to giving the ball away and, and Portugal scored and equalized that match. Yeah, um, that was World Cup um, 2014? 2014, yes. Yeah, 2014, oh, yeah. that was so yeah. sad. Yeah, but uh, okay, we gotta we gotta talk about Alyssa Nair because I think that was really you know the story of this game coming off of a mistake by her probably didn't need to come out, but at the same time maybe she did. I don't know what you feel about that, but uh, she made up for it later. I personally think she, I personally think she made the right call by coming out. And again, I, I mean, literally the ball was just like, it barely even missed her hands. Um, yeah. I don't know. That was unfortunate. I will say that first save she made in penalties was excellent. The rest weren't that great of penalties. I mean, like yeah. um, by Canada, um, uh, Leon missed her second. Obviously, she missed her PK after making that uh, penalty before. You know that that's that's a tough position, and um, we have an excellent goalkeeper. I at least went into these PKs knowing that, like you know, being comfortable with that. And then you know, Lindsay Haran. I I just love the way she takes PKs. It's yeah. she's such a professional, and she's so calm. And you know, then we have uh, an Alyssa Nair. She takes her PK, nails it. Um, I thought today, Alyssa Nair, just, there was a different look on her face when it got to penalties. And she just said, look, I'm taking this thing over. And the way she <laughs> took that third penalty, I was like, that was such a boss move right there. And then just drilling it in the corner and being like, all right, 
guys or gals, I should say, we're taking this thing. We're taking this thing to the final. I totally agree. I mean, even after the her yellow, I feel like she just had this fire in her that was, you know, in general, I feel like there was more of this urgency with the U.S. or we're seeing more in this women's team. And I have to point out, Emily Fox has just become like she's becoming one of my favorite players. Yeah. So today, for example, whether we want to call it the rain, whether it's something else, she does mess up. She does. But she recovers so well every time. She's such a I think people are under underestimating to how much what an important position she yields and yeah. and how much she really is doing and she just to me she reminds me of one of those people who just kind of buries her head and does her work like she's yeah. she's just very focused and she's super fun to watch and um the effort she puts in is just is awesome and i'm just so excited to see the future of her and you know as soon as <laughs> Twilight Kilgore made those substitutions and we got more vets on the pitch. I was like, oh God, that's what, see, that is when you start to see the decline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So look, I mean, it's, it was an epic match, you know, uh, congratulations to Canada on a, on a good tournament as well. Um, it, you know, they, they were able to find ways back into this match. Okay. Now the U S heading into the final, we obviously, you know, won't get too much into previewing it or anything like that, but just, your quick thoughts on the final. I think there's a lot of room for improvement. Obviously, we didn't learn much in this game because of the waterlog situation, but I do think that the U.S. needs to step up big time, big time, big time if they have any chance in the final. Yeah, I agree. And again, it was a very tough game to assess tactically because, again, we had a, a third player. Uh, surprise! Yeah. So, the rain. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I do agree. But... Um, you know, I'd like to see the lineup. I, I did like that sub of Lynn Williams coming in, but I, I would like to see this lineup more or less be steady. You know, I liked Coffee in the beginning, Night Swanger. I'm still confused why Midge Purse is not playing more. Um, yeah. I don't know if there's something between Sophia Smith and Mitch Purse, if we can maybe re, you know, distribute some some stuff. I don't know. But I, I do, I don't know. That would, I, that's an interesting. It's just an interesting idea. Of, I'm not sure exactly what Twilight Kilgore is going to do. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I'm excited. I look. It's it's my birthday weekend. It's Oscar weekend. It's Gold Cup final. U.S. Soccer. I mean, what more could you want? Film, friends, soccer. Like, it's a weekend made for me. So you guys better bring it home for me. Let's make it about me. <laughs> Huge weekend for you, Shauna, <laughs> and that's what that's the main thing. No, but honestly, you know, U.S. Women's National Team. You guys have you come so far. It's time to take it home. Uh, for those of you out there watching who are enjoying these videos, please subscribe to the channel. Keep watching. The CONCACAF W Gold Cup into the final. The U.S. women's national team takes on Brazil this Sunday. Let's go USA.